Greetings. This is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Uh, today's topic, ceasefire holding near the Golan Heights, and we are July 11, 2017. Scripture reference is out of Isaiah 2, verse 13, and it will be against all the cedars of Lebanon that are lofty and lifted up against all the oaks of Bashan. Bashan is the modern-day Golan Heights, and this would be the area essentially in the blue here on the map. Uh, and this place is south of what is modern-day Damascus, and so you see Damascus up here to the north and to the east of the Golan Heights. And geographical landmarks would include the region east of the Jordan River and north of the Arnon River. And the territory extended from Gilead in the south to Mount Herman on the north, and that's back in biblical ancient days. Now, clearly not the case now. You have all sorts of people getting excited and fired up about Israel holding land east of the Jordan River. So as you look at this map and you get a key, the following groups are currently located in the Golan region. So we got Syrian government forces supported by Russia in the red. We got ISIS down here in the corner in the gray, uh, in the southwest corner, just east of Israel in the gray. Uh, rebel forces supported by the United States in the green. Now this green, that could include the Free Syrian Army, Al-Nusra or Al-Qaeda in Syria. So, and also the Turkmen are possibly involved with that. And then we have Israeli forces here in the blue. Now, the big news was on July 7, 2017, Russia's Vladimir Putin and the United States' Donald Trump agreed to a ceasefire in the southwest of Syria. Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, attended the meeting, as well as U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. And Tillerson said there was a defined agreement between the parties. Now, the meeting between Trump and Putin lasted two hours and 16 minutes, if anybody was keeping track. Uh, and Tillerson said, this is our first indication of the U.S. and Russia being able to work together in Syria. And the ceasefire started in the de-escalation zone at noon, Damascus time, July 9, 2017. And this is per CNN.com. All kinds of articles on this. Uh, Syria ceasefire, U.S., Russia, Tillerson. Uh, July 10... UN peace talks regarding Syria restarted in Geneva. And per the report, uh, the ceasefire has generally held despite, quote, teething problems. There have been a few little skirmishes, but nothing of significance. Now, the ceasefire is for three provinces in the southern areas of Syria. Four de-escalation zones or baskets have been established, but they're not very well defined, and these baskets have not been implemented or enforced. Now, the sticking po point in the negotiations is over Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, and this is according to Al Jazeera's Sue Turton. Turton. The specter that is hanging over all of that is the fate of Bashar al-Assad. I think it's fair to say that this is one area where the two sides are still diametrically opposed, whether Assad should be allowed to stay or whether he should go. And again, that's uh, Sue Turton of Al Jazeera. And you, I've got a link provided, aljazeera.com, Syria ceasefire holding Geneva talks envoy is the link. Now, Israel, for their part, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel has expressed concern about Iran and its terrorist proxies, Hezbollah, from moving into the region during the ceasefire. Now, Hezbollah is from Lebanon, and Lebanon's uh, located up here in the north in the west of the map. And you can see Tyre and Sidon. You guys familiar with Scripture? Uh, know that those two places have uh, prophetic significance in the end-time scenario as well, which would be modern-day Lebanon. And uh, Lebanon houses Hezbollah. Israel wants the United States and Russia to enforce a buffer zone in southwest Syria. Now, Prime Minister 
Netanyahu has made several quotes regarding this issue. And one of them is, I had, quote, deep discussions about this last week with U.S. Secretary of State Tillerson and with Russian uh, Vladimir Putin. Both told me that they understand Israel's position and will take our demands into account. And again, that's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Now, he also went on to say, and this is where the meat of his quotes are located, for our part, we will continue to monitor developments beyond our borders while strongly upholding our red lines. Prevent the strengthening of Hezbollah via Syria with emphasis on the acquisition of precision weapon, weapons. Prevent Hezbollah or Iranian forces from establishing a ground presence along our border and prevent the establishment of an Iranian military presence in Syria as a whole. And those are uh, quotes by Benjamin Netanyahu. And you can check that out. A link provided to CNN.com. Middle East, Syria ceasefire begins. So for now, things are quiet uh, and holding near the Golan Heights. There's been a lot of uh, fighting. I mean, you can see you got ISIS. You got, quote, rebels supported by the U.S. You got the Syrian government supported by the Russians. And... It's a big mess, and it's quiet for now, but we know what Scripture says according to Ezekiel 38 and 39. This is where the invasion into the northern part of Syria is going to come, or into the northern part of Israel is going to come from. It's going to come from Syria through the Golan into the northern part of Israel per Ezekiel 38 and 39. So if you're interested in this story, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. Uh, you know, keywords Golan, Ezekiel 38, 39. Uh, Bashan, Lebanon, Hezbollah, Trump, Putin, Russia, Tillerson, UN. Thanks for listening. Take care.